I've been needing a fountain, but I want a better one. Hey, this is Josh. Thanks for watching Scattercraft. So I've had this leftover WizKids Azimar Paladin for a while, and I always thought he'd make a really cool statue because he's got really nice detail and he's in this really awesome heroic pose. So I thought it'd be cool to get two things checked off my to-do list today. Check it out. So I sketched out a basic design here on some graph paper. I just figured out about what size bricks I wanted for this. So I measured that out on the Proxon. I cut a few into a square shape here, and then I cut a few more. I lined these up and found a size that looked about right. Then I cut all the rest of them into bricks too. I found that gluing the bricks end to end was kind of a nice way to get them laid out here. And then I just started laying them out. I realized I needed a smaller inside piece and I thought it would be a pain to cut it, so I decided to paint the inside line. This actually worked really well. Give me a sharper blade here. I just cut out around the red so that I knew that it would fit perfectly. After I got the inner liner set here, I laid another layer of bricks to cover it up. It was a bit wobbly, so I took some 150 grit sandpaper and sanded the bottom of it to get it to sit flat. I used a compass to draw some circles to lay out the inner tiles. Might be a little hard to see on video with the white background, but trust me, they're there. Then I just traced them out the rest of the way with my ballpoint pen. That looks pretty good. I cut a few pieces to be the wider top for my bricks. And I started laying them out carefully. This was the part that was real difficult. It took a lot of trial and error to get this laid out nicely. I just use my ball of foil to add some texture to the top here. I noticed it was a bit flimsy, so I wanted to add some hot glue to the bottom to give it a little bit more rigidity. So I took some wax paper, just piled on the hot glue in a bunch of places and pressed it down flat so it would give it a lot more strength. Kind of a little plinth here for this. Is that the right word? I don't know. Then took a piece of scrap and made a top piece for it.
Then I gotta do one of my favorite parts, laying the Mod Podge on everything. Well, that right, I took my little Asmar Paladin and painted him in a metallic copper. And it looks pretty good. I then painted the bottom of the pool with pure white. And I realized my mistake of using black Mod Podge at this point, because it kept showing through and I had to put several layers on. In hindsight, I should have used the clear, but I totally spaced it and just painted black like I normally do. Then used a medium gray for all the stonework. And started laying out each individual tile. Laying out the tiles took a long time, but I used four different blues to get it done. It was just me slowly painting each individual one, trying to make them square. I used light mocha to dry brush all the stone pieces. Making sure to carefully get the edges and not get any on the tile. Again, something I probably should have done first, but I didn't think about it. There it is with a little obelisk in it. Looking pretty good. I wanted this to look a little newer, so I did a very thick dry brushing of white. Then I used some 5 minute epoxy. I couldn't find any real cheap stuff. This is about the cheapest I could find. It says to mix this for 20 seconds and then it sets in 5 minutes. So I had to work fast. I left the stone out in the middle to make it easy to put in later. I just used a really cheap nylon throwaway brush to do this. This was actually a really fun part. Kind of stressful though. While still wet, I put the stone plinth in the middle. I tried poking some of the little bubbles, but I still got stuck with a bunch of tiny bubbles that I just couldn't get out. So I started black washing it and some of it was running down. So I just dried that up with a Q-tip. I took little tiny wooden dowels and used them for spouts. Shout out to DM Scotty for this technique. I used the hot glue gun and water to get some really nice waterfall effects. I made a few extra to make sure I got the shape I wanted. I just measured that out and cut it with my scissors. And lined it up. And man, does that look nice. And here's the final reveal. Alright, so I think this turned out pretty good. I think it turned out a lot better than I thought it would halfway through the build. So I played with several different designs for this, and I restarted twice through this process just to get it the way I wanted it to look. I always love that Moroccan glazed blue tile look. I think it really adds a nice detail to this piece. 
So painting these tiles was really time consuming. I wanted to get the detail to show really nice in the grout. I wanted you to be able to see the little white grout lines. And that took a lot of really fine painstaking detail work. So I like the idea of making the statue interchangeable. That way I could use it in a lot of different situations. I thought about a lot of different ways to attach the statue, but it turned out poster tack works pretty well. And I can change it out anytime and I don't have to worry about it damaging the piece. <laughs> This was also the first time I ever used the five minute epoxy to get the water effect. And I don't know, it turned out okay. It has a lot of little bubbles in it, which I don't really like, but if anybody knows how to get rid of the bubbles, leave a comment and let me know, cause I'd really like to find out. I also used DM Scotty's technique of putting the hot glue in the water to get the little waterfall effect. I think those turned out really great cause I didn't even have to paint them and they turned out perfect. Well, I hope you enjoyed the build. I know this is a piece that I'll use a lot in the future in my games. If you like this, please subscribe and share this video with your friends. If you did, I'd really appreciate it. I'm a new channel and your shares really do a lot to help this channel grow. And again, thanks so much for watching Scattercraft. Bye.